A growing number of children in South Korea are enduring 20-hour days of training and isolation to achieve their dream of becoming a K-pop star. But the years of training needed just to be considered are grueling, and most young South Koreans get spat out by the cutthroat industry. Iskander Razak reports. Before dawn, nine-year-old Kim Si-yoon and her mother make their way to class. But this has nothing to do with writing, reading or arithmetic. After hours on the dance floor, she heads to the studio. Vocal training also takes several hours, and it's only after this that study becomes a priority. It's all crammed in just before midnight, when Kim goes to bed, only to wake six hours later to repeat the process. It is tough, but this is what I'm doing for my dream. And this is the dream. Known for its slick look and large choreographed routines, K-pop has swept through Asia. Bank of Korea data estimates overseas sales revenue for K-pop was $730 million in 2013. Recent surveys show that becoming a K-pop star is now the most popular career choice for pre-teens. But it is a cutthroat industry that few ever succeed in. I am very worried about her because it's a very rocky road and competition is very intense and there are so many talented kids. But she is trying hard and she knows that she can't help but work harder. And even those that have the talent don't make it. Jung Ha Jin was accepted into one of the industry's training programs. As a trainee, she was isolated from friends and family and endured a gruelling seven-day regime for three years before quitting. The most difficult part, in fact, was when I saw myself and felt like I didn't grow up. But for those that do release an album, they say the fame, adulation and rewards are worth it. I'm thinking only about one thing. Our song keeps being played. I hope to perform anywhere, anytime, even if I can't sleep or I'm tired. So On spent five years in the training program and her six-member girl band Girlfriend made its debut this month. But even now, the odds of long-term success are poor. While some bands become internationally successful, the average lifespan of a K-pop group is just five years. Iskandar Razak, ABC News.